This is Pat. When was the last time you got a haircut? Months ago. Months ago? So how much, how much, how many inches does our hair grow? A month? An inch. Half an inch to an inch. So you don't have to be a scientist to know that you're not going to cut more than an inch. This is a number four. So this is the length of your hair, the end result. So what I do is I just go like this and I kind of see how much it's going to take off. This is just to measure it. So it's not going to be more than an inch. So this is the perfect one. I always keep my thumb here because it's not really secure. So it can be moving. If you're doing a four and a half, you start on one side and you finish the other side and it's a four. Okay, so a four. You always want to secure the head. And you start going up and out. Do you guys see? Mm -hmm. And always start on the sideburns. Why? Because if he's like, oh wait, that's too short. You could always blend it. Blend it with the comb. Do longer in the back. A haircut, a men's haircut, is like building a house. You start on the walls and then you go on the roof. So we're gonna do a four all around. And don't ever go in like that. If you hurt the person and you get a choppy haircut. So what I'm doing, you always comb after so you can get all the hairs evenly. And you don't want to go above their eyebrow. You can go a little bit above their eyebrow, but this is where you start blending it when you do the scissor part. So sometimes they have like rolls in their head, <laughs> kind of like that. So you have to grab the hair, sorry I'm going to pull you a little bit, and pull it. You see what I did? <laughs> Otherwise you're not going to cut right. And it's okay, it doesn't hurt them. You just have to tell them that you're going to do that. <laughs> so, some, some guys like it. <laughs> So, you see what I'm doing? I'm not moving, I'm moving him. If I had a mirror, well, there's a mirror there, but in front of your station, you have to use the mirror to see if your line is even. So, do you see how I'm cutting? And you can see the line. And I'm pulling the hair up, and I'm going like this. It's the movement that you have to like practice, practice, practice. And all the hair is going on the floor. It's not going on me or mm, on his kick. Okay, so that's step number one. Now I open it and when I'm blending, you do half. You always have to keep your clipper on half. So this is how you hold the comb to blend. Keep your thumb on the guard. So you go in like this, and you see how this is bigger? So you blend it. And you comb forward. This is where the tricky part is. You have to comb forward because their hair grows this part grows like in different directions. <coughs> so another important thing to ask the client is how do they like their sideburns and the back? Do they like it rounded or square? Sometimes they're like, I don't know. So you kind of see how the back of the neck is for him. Round. It could be either or. Square. How do you like your... <laughs> I'm going to do square. And here, well first you blend and then I'll show you how to do the rest. Behind the ear, that's where like at first I was so nervous because I was like, <laughs> but it doesn't hurt them. You could just go like that, right? It doesn't hurt. And it's part of the haircut. You have to go, you have to move the ear away from the hair so you can go in with this and clean it. And then get this part <coughs> and 
see how I'm using the clipper? I'm not going like this. It's sideways. And then you kind of like use this and shape it. Comb it. And then clean it up. And you want to always double check. When you're going to set it up to be cleaned with the other clipper, you always want to like either half to go around the ears or close, which is a zero, to make the like rough line. You see? So you're just cleaning, do, doing like a basic cleaning and with the T-liner you come and you just erase the little ones. So, uh, move the head. Right here, you go down. Do you see what I'm doing? I'm not going up. I'm not going sideways, nothing. It's just bluntly down. And here, you move the ear. And you guide yourself from, like, half of the ear. This is your guideline. Don't go in, because then you're going to make a bad haircut. So you guide yourself to make the line and it comes out straight. You see? Are you clean? So now I open it and I clean up. You comb it and you just clean, make a little shape here that goes around the ear. You see it? <coughs> and then you close it. Well, let's, let's do the blending first. You comb forward. See all those extra hairs? Come down. Now you close it and you go around the ear shape. And now it's pretty much clean. And then you make a rough line. This is where you then come with this T liner and you clean it up extra, extra clean. So there's like a few little hairs here, baby hairs. <laughs> Some like older gentlemen have like hairs in their ears. Mm -hmm. You just clip it, clip it away like that. Clean it, and they really appreciate it, and they tip you more. Sometimes I'm like, oh, would you like me to trim your eyebrows? <laughs> so they love it. <laughs> See how this one cleans better than your peanut? Yeah. I mean, your peanut nicks them. That's just like for beginners. <laughs> This one is really clean, you see? Go over the line the same way, down. And you kind of grab the <laughs> grab the skin. What you do here is you open up your cape and you press down to clean the parameter of like their shirt where the where their shirt collar goes that's how far you go and clean up with the t-liner some some guys are really hairy here mm -hmm. and when you do a haircut there's like a separation and that looks really bad so they'll know if you did a good haircut if the back of their neck is clean like they'll come back to you and your goal is to build clientele just clean it up See, it doesn't irritate him, nothing. Right? <laughs> Does it hurt? <laughs> so, you want to stay on the same line that you created with the, with the wall. <coughs> and you can either go down to the side. However the hair grows, you'll see go against, against the, the grain. And you do the same thing here. We'll push the ear, clean this part, clean the baby hairs, and you 
just go over it. <clears throat> a lot of people want to stare at the mirror when you're doing the haircut. I always try to move them away because they look at your face expressions and if you're like, they are going to hate you. They're not going to feel that you're confident and a lot of the times is confidence. The top part is the cutting comb. If you use this one, it's too thick. So when you're like, going like that, it doesn't, doesn't work as well as the styling or cutting comb. It doesn't have to be this one, you know, it has to be longer <coughs> or skinnier. Not, not the clipper comb. This is a clipper comb. Okay, so you comb the hair forward, forward, forward. And for this part, you do use a mirror and you ask them, is this okay? Remember we cut less than an inch? This is less than an inch. So this would be the correct size. So when you do, you always like pull the hair forward. I mean comb the hair forward. It's because the front part of their head is very important. Um, I'll tell you why. So you cut. And this is your guideline for the rest of the hair. Because if you cut too short here, then this is gonna be longer and your haircut is gonna look horrible. It's not gonna be shaped right. So that's the trick to a men's haircut. This is your guideline on the top and then you just comb, full, you comb forward and you grab the hair like this and you see this part? This is a little bit shorter than the top part, I mean the front part. So you guide yourself with this front cut. And what are we building? We're building the roof, right? So we're gonna cut it like that, like a roof. So always come forward and you have to have a grip with your fingers. And they'll, the client will feel your confidence too. Like how well are you holding the hair? If you're like shaking and you know, they're not gonna feel <coughs> confident about you. So come forward. Forward. And my hand is at an angle. Do you see it? I'm like pushing in and this part is longer and this part is shorter. And here, blend this <coughs> two. And you do the other side. Come forward, pull, pull the hair that way. Just want to make sure these corners are blended right. Because then you're going to have like little hooks here. So then you cut it back. And that's where your roof is at. Okay? If you guys notice, I didn't do any blending here yet. Because that's, that's the end. By the time you finish cutting, this is going to be dry. So then you can come back with the clippers and just blend it if you need to and the texturizing shears, which are used as well. So you just, this is your guideline, remember? So you just cut, like that. And my, my finger's at an angle. You keep them at an angle, because that's measuring the hair. So, here's my guideline. <coughs> So when you 
combing it, it's blending already without doing much. You always want to make sure that your guideline is in the middle so you won't get um, different sizes of cut all around the head. So you just continue the guideline all the way in the middle. You see how this hair is longer? So it kind of looks like a mohawk. And you have to cut in the shape of the head. See how my fingers are the measurement, uh, measuring. See, I blended the bottom one with the top. Do you guys see it? Mm -hmm. so follow your guideline. And what you do on one side, you do on the other side and you move your body. This haircut, you'll be able to do it like in 15 minutes. I think um, you start out like at half an hour, 45 minutes. Then if you do like 10 haircuts a day, get really, really good at it and you can finish it in 15 minutes, including the wash, because some places they wash their <coughs> hair after the haircut, and other places don't. Do you see? There's little blending to do. Let's do the other side. You always gonna you're you're gonna like eliminate these mountains, I call them. So that's the way the hair blends better. Blend it the right way from beginning to the end. And sometimes they move their head. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> so you have to push it forward. You're in control. A lot of the kids, when I'm doing their haircuts, they just move and move. So I'm like, I tell them, keep your head locked and just look at the mirror. Sometimes you do have to make them face the mirror so they can distract themselves and you can finish the haircut. And a lot of kids cry too because they think we're going to hurt them or something. So you always want to double check. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry? I work at Ala Barbershop and Salon. And that's where I usually do most of the men's haircuts. It's like 50 50. 50 women, 50% men. I used to hate doing men's haircuts, but now it's so easy. It's like, I'm a robot. <laughs> and they're faster, and they're in and out of your chair, like, like I said, 15, 20 minutes. 
and they're your most consistent client because they're always going to come back in two to th three weeks depending on how particular they are about their hairstyle. This is the shortest cut with the scissor. I'm sorry? Uh, with the scissor, can you, can, can you cut shorter than this? Um, with the scissor? Yeah. Lower than a four, you can't. Or you could do with scissor over comb. So, what do you use for trimming eyebrows? Your scissor. You use your scissor over comb. Yeah. So you can see here, there's like the heavy part. Then your eye is going to get trained to look at men's haircuts everywhere you go. You'll be like, Ew. I'm done with the regular scissor. Now what I do is blend it in with the thinning shears. So I go back to this line. It's kind of like blended already, but you want to make sure it's extra blended. You don't want to see the difference between the clipper cut and the scissor cut. You can see it? Comb it forward. And you comb up. <coughs> up and away. And you just cut, cut, cut. And I'm not touching the bottom part, and I'm not touching the top part. I'm just focusing on the middle. And then you come down. And you can kind of see where it's a little longer. You can always go back. Of course, you're not going to tell him, right? But you can see how it's not blending right here. It must be long. You see? Yeah. And you see this part is shorter. So this part needs to be the same. He has one of those lines. See? <laughs> <laughs> so you have to be very careful there too. You don't want people noticing that he has that. So, you just blend in the hair. And you can either go sideways, sideways, or up. Easy. Now, you go to the top. You don't ever want to cut this any more than when you start it. So, stay away from that area and you finish it off by going like that, one, one side and the other. This creates layer and movement to the hair. And you see how I'm strategically putting the scissor <laughs> like that and it's it's creating a pattern and his haircut is going to look awesome. Would you do this on somebody with fine hair too? Would you just no. Sure? No, no. I wouldn't do thinning shears on top for people who have really fine hair. Maybe just on the side to blend it. You always want to blend that. Why? Because you're going to cut more than what you need to cut and people with thin hair you want to keep as much on their head as possible. So I just go around. <laughs> just... 
usually use a blow dryer, which is hard. It's easier. This comb just takes the texturizing hair that I cut out of their head. So you comb it. See how the hair is drying already? If, in case you need to blend some part of the head, part of the haircut, um, you go back to use the wall and half open. So what you do is just double checking, cross checking. You see how there's some hairs? That. You go against the hair because if you go forward, you're not going to pick up much. So you go, you go in and out, in and out, in and out. See how there's like one or two? In and out. A really good clipper to have as well is the Oster 76. That's like $150 just for the clipper and the guards are another like 20 bucks each. But the wall works as well, so. Just wanna double check. Make sure you don't have any steps. And you have to have a steady hand because people move too much and then you'll create a dent. See how I'm angling the comb? <clears throat> Go in and you push out. That way the hair will nicely fall around the shape of his head. You want to comb it forward. And make sure that there's no little hairs. Good clean cut. And this part. Oops, sorry. <coughs> hey, you need an eyebrow trim. <laughs> uh, Is it okay if I trim your eyebrow? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> okay. So you want to come forward and you see how this sticks out? That has to go. So you just cut. Cut. Now it's clean. You see it? And this will prevent him from like itching. It's a towel or towel. Whatever. You can use baby powder, but usually this is more like manly smell. Last thing you do is you style the hair. You can wash it right now. So after you towel dry your hair, towel dry it, you put the finishing product. Some guys like to use fiber, which is by American Crew or gel. And depending on the person's age, it depends what they use. The older gentlemen don't really use much. Sometimes they use hairspray because they're used to, that's the only thing they're accustomed to. So you put hairspray on their hair. That's why at the consultation, when you're doing it, you ask them a few important questions. How do they like their sideburns? How do they like the back of the haircut, square or round? Sometimes they want it tapered, which is like blend it from like a zero to a three. Um, or one, two, or three, and how do they style their hair? While you're doing the haircut, that, that's a part of your conversation with the client. Besides, once 
you're really, really experienced, then you can talk about, oh, how was your weekend, blah, blah, blah. By the third time you cut the person's hair, you're supposed to remember what clipper size they use. Remember, like, conversations, and they'll love it when they, they know that you remember. You make them feel special, and they come back to you. So this is a man's haircut presentation. One more thing. Eyebrows. So what I tell them is, please close your eyes, and you just comb over, comb in, and then whatever long pieces you see, you just, just cut. And forward. about this, you'll find jobs everywhere in the world you go. You like your haircut? <laughs> 